118 cities, three PESWES, is to pay affected farmers some outstanding compensation from 2015 to 2018, stamping out decontamination and disposal materials and the rollout of a communication plan. The ministry has agreed to pay 30 cities for a matured bed, 20 cities for a pallet, 10 cities per chick, 80 cities for a bag of feed and 10 cities for a crate of eggs based on the amount av available immediately. The ministry also received the requisite data on the number of farms that were affected during the outbreak of 2016, 2017, and 2018. And outstanding 36 poultry farms will also receive their compensation. Affected farmers between July and December 2021 are to present their certificates of destruction to the Finance and Administration Unit of the Ministry of Food and Agriculture for immediate payment. Poultry farmers are also required to intensify their biosecurity measures and avoid restocking of their farms until biosecurity certification and management practices are certified by the Veterinary Services Directorate. The national chairman of the Poultry Farmers Association of Ghana, Mr. Victor Opungeji, lauded government's plan to include affected farms from 2016. He welcomed the ongoing biometric registration and certification of poultry farmers. We know that this is going to help the industry and the government as a whole economically because with this uh, biometric registration, it will help us to monitor every activity that is going on in the industry. In future, farmers without biometric certification and registration will not be compensated. Over 50,000 birds were affected in the outbreak of bird flu in the country. For GBC News, Shirley Annan reporting.